Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I will show you how you can merge queries using Power Query. So we will going to invoke Power Query using the transform data and then I will show you one scenario with which you can do that. So scenario let me first show you. So what do I have is basically this super store data set which I will show you where you can find it and then in this data set we have the different product categories like this right in this product product category if you see there are three categories furniture office supplies and technology right so for these categories let's say in a different table or in a different sheet we have product heads right for example technology is headed by richard office supply is by john or furniture is by Carl. so all of these three people are basically heading the different department and we want to basically merge this information uh, in the existing or the big data set though this, this is basically present as a dimension table to us right so this is a scenario that we have we will use as a merge query and generally these type of scenarios where you want to merge two tables or two data set based on some common key like in this case the product category you will going to use the merge query so let's go ahead and start uh, with the transform data to invoke power query before that a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel that this is a google sheet which i use where i keep all of my power bi related videos so title is present in column a in column b you know you have the links of the videos so that so this link is basically present in the description you can go and look at any of my videos that i'm posting and i will keep adding uh, as i'm posting more videos over here so that way you can search any of the videos very easily you know uh, that, that you want to look at from my channel also the data set is the link of the data set generally what i give is uh, you will land here and in that you have the power bi and this is the superstore data set where i have just gone ahead and created this new table so you can take pause the video and just create this new tab for yourself as well to follow along okay Coming back to the Power BI, let's go to the transform data and within the transform data, let's go to the new source as an Excel workbook. And this source is basically, for me, I have divided it for, for you, not an issue. You can simply go ahead and use this. So it is showing it is in use because I have opened it. So let me close it and let me bring it up here. So it's the same data set I have just divided for because I was covering some other example. So what do I have is basically the sales data set and the product heads, right? So I will going to import that. Now it may be a scenario that, uh, you know, you have this information in different tables. In this case, I have it in one sheet. This can also be one scenario. So you have central and you have product heads, right? And we want to merge this information of product head over here. Now before that, first thing first is the name of the columns are not coming properly so what we will going to do is used first row as headers so now the names are coming properly headers are coming properly over here what whatever query we we want to merge so for example we merge product head into central so this is our base so we will select this we will come over here we have two option merge queries or merge queries as new Merge queries will going to merge it in the same data set. But if you want to keep it intact, you can click on merge queries as new. This will going to create a new query altogether. So let's go ahead and do this first merge query, which is a default option. So this is our base data set, right? And we want to merge what product head. Now this we want to merge over here, the kind of a join. So join is left outer all rows from first matching from second yes that's what we want and we want to make sure that we select the uh, product category so we are here so we have category here we have category here and uh, they are doing the estimating matches based on the data previews so you can see that these two should match and we are doing left outer join so the selection matches two three two three of whatever number of rows click ok and the central table is now having the merge table over here and if you see this is the product head table which is coming and now you can expand this by clicking over the link like this you want to expand you want to activate we want to expand so we will click ok and you can see you have the product head 
the category, same category, if you want to do the comparison with the base table, then you have the product head name, right? So that is one way of doing that. Now let me undo this by clicking here, by clicking here. Now let's go ahead and do the merge query by saying merge queries as new. So it will going to create a new table. So this is the base table. This is the table we want to merge. We want to select the category just so that, you know, this is coming properly. This is needs to be left out of join. And then we can go ahead and click OK. Right. So now you can see this is a new query that has been created. That way your original tables are intact. Right. And this is a new table which you can right click and rename uh, sales with product hat information and then you know you can start doing whatever you want so that is something i wanted to show you how you can basically do the merging of queries very very easy and you can see if you look at the table you have the many options over here you have left outer right outer full outer inner left anti uh, right anti right so all of that is very easily available you have the fuzzy matching as well through which you can do the fuzzy that is something bit advanced so i'm not covering it over here however uh, based on the scenario you know this is a beginner level scenario so i wanted to cover this one as your base scenario so over here your information is again coming in the end you can go ahead and expand that click ok and your information is expanded and you have the two queries merged into a new one with that thank you so much let me know if you have any question and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic